welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is dawn and it is so lovely to have you today's haul is miss selfridges i'll be showing you a few pieces and how i style them i hope you enjoy today's content and if you do don't forget to like the video and as always if you haven't subscribed please subscribe for the first look, I am wearing an oversized t-shirt and cycling shorts. Both are in colour sage and both are size 8. I'm normally a 10 in the bottoms, so I do think that I should have sticked to my normal 10. And for the top, I should have gone a size up just to give me that oversized look. However, I still like how the look came out together and I still think I managed to just about pull it off. What do you think? For the second look, I am wearing loungewear. I'm wearing a slouch top and kick flare trousers. Both are in size 8 and they are in grey. I honestly loved these pieces. It's something easy for you to throw on when you're just chilling at home or if you have to pop somewhere quickly. However, because I am 5 foot 3, which is 160 centimeters, the trousers are too long for me and I've had to wear heels with it. Otherwise, normally I would style this look with either sandals because I'd be wearing it indoors or with trainers. So that is my only concern. For my third look, I have gone for a funnel neck jumper in grey. I'm wearing it in size 8. I have chosen to pair this with my leather look leggings from Topshop. You can find the direct link in my Topshop haul. I am wearing trainers as well. So I have chosen to style this very casually. I really like how this looked. I really like the material of the jumper. It is very soft and it is not at all itchy. Very warm as well, especially for this time of year in England. I live in England, by the way. So um, I really liked the overall look. 
but I do think that I would prefer to have sized up. So I think a size 10 would have looked so much better and would have just been a bit more comfortable. Please let me know down below in the comment section what you think. The fourth look is a cream sweater. I'm wearing this in size 8. I've chosen to pair this with Zara jeans and Zara mules. Both these items are now out of stock. I believe I'm wearing a River Island belt, but I'm not really sure where I got the belt from. This sweater feels very nice. It feels as though it is very warm as well. This look can also be worn with a coat or a jacket if it's a bit colder outside. This is something that I would wear if I was going out for brunch because I am such a brunch person. For the fifth look, I am wearing an ivory crop cardigan. It is in size small. I've chosen to style this with my Zara leather look leggings. The direct link to the leggings can be found in my Zara haul. I wanted a pop off colour so I've paired these two items with my kitten heels that are in orange. Let me know what you think of this look. The cardigan is a very nice material. I really liked how it looked on me and I've already decided that this is an item that I'm definitely keeping from this haul because I don't have anything similar. This look is the look that convinced me to do a Miss Selfridges haul and I'm so glad I did it. The top is in size 8 and the skirt, which is a midi skirt, is in size 10. I loved how it looked on the model, but I'm not sure if I actually pull this look off. To start off with, there is extra material at the front of the skirt around my tummy, which makes my tummy look a bit more bigger than it is. And the top as well just shows a bit of the bra. I 
played around with the top so much trying to make sure that the bra doesn't you can't see my bra but i think you can still see a bit of it anyways so i would definitely not keep these two items however i do think if you have a different body shape this might be just a look for you especially if you are going out for a dinner date and this has got a touch of elegance and a touch of sexy you have come to the end of today's haul i hope you've enjoyed the video and if you did please don't forget to like the video if you like my content please don't forget to subscribe i would love to hear from you in the comment section so don't forget to comment as well it was lovely to have you today and i look forward to seeing you next time thank you for watching bye